five, four, three, two, one. What's up, y'all? It's Car, and I'm back in a new year, new me, okay? Actually, I hate when people say new year, new me because you are not new. The buses is not new. Let me know how much change you can do from 11.59 to 12 o'clock. Let, let me know. But anyway, to the video. In today's video, I'm doing the get to know me tag, and I know it's cliche, but... I thought it was time for us, you know, to get to know each other. But anyway, let's get started. So the first question is, what is your middle name? Daniela. And it's spelled Daniel with an A, and it's also part of my channel name, if you didn't know. And um, I think they got it from my dad because my dad's name was Daniel. But I always remember my mom saying she got it from jet magazine and the beauty of the week like that was one of the names <laughs> but honestly i'm not sure but if anything it was after my dad zodiac sign i'm a leo best sign ever barack obama is a leo too so hate favorite color is teal who was your first best friend my first best friend i believe was amani and I'm, I still follow her on Snapchat, so shout out to you if you're watching. But I think she was my first best friend because I was like kindergarten, so yeah. How tall are you? I'm 5'5". Five, five. Cats or dogs? I would honestly prefer neither because I'm not an animal person. Sorry. <laughs> but... A lot of my friends have dogs and my aunt had a dog named Simba she's gone now but um if I had to choose I guess I would say dog funniest moment throughout school I'm really oh crap I'm so embarrassing but I think the funniest moment would have to be when I was in second grade so, yeah second grade and it was gym class and we were playing kickball that day and I was so, like I don't know for some reason I'm low-key competitive even though I'm not really athletic but anyway my team was losing um I wanted us to get a rematch but it was time to go like the period ended so our coach coach Scott shout out to you um I was like coach Scott I want to play again let's have a rematch I want to win <laughs> And Coach Scott was not even, you know, stunting me. He was like, come on, let's go. Like, you're a child. <laughs> but anyway, I was just so upset that I did like a protest sit-in. And where we played kickball, it was basically in the parking lot because our play area was like connected to it. So I was sitting in the parking lot alone, mad face. Like, I was big mad. This girl at the time, Whitney, who, I'm sorry, Whitney, I didn't like you then. I thought you were me. <laughs> But like now me and Whitney are cool. But anyway, um, I guess Whitney was trying to get me out of trouble. So she picked me up and threw me over her shoulders. And like, that sounds, you know, perfectly fine. But when she threw me over her shoulders, I had a dress on, like a jumper. So once I went over her shoulders, the dress went over her shoulders too. And the whole class saw my underwear. I was devastated and then I had a crush at the time <laughs> and it was not time for him to see my underwear yet like and then it wasn't even cute underwear that was mortifying are you in college yes favorite drink lemonade in the Welch's sparkling drinks in the bottles that they sell around the holidays and um I love a cranberry limeade with lemonberry flavor from Sonic. Everyone should check that out. It is bomb. And tell them Clara sent you favorite song. I got a big one. I took a different one. I'm the pick of the litter. I was in Juvie Day Gaming Community. I had to pick up some litter. Uh, I want it easy. Please do not tease me. I want my yeast to dinner. That was a sample. But big amount, 
by 2 Chains featuring Drake. Ugh. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I saw him. Like, 2 Chains came to our school for something. But anyway, that was one of the first songs he performed. And I went crazy. I screamed to the top of my lungs. And I was, like, jumping up and down like a crazy person. And when I did that, everybody around me, like, started looking at me like I was crazy. But I'm not. I mean, I am a little bit. I was just so excited. And that's my favorite song. Okay. And, oh, Two Chains. I love it. But, yeah. And everyone, check out Two Chains in concert. He was, he was really good. And I love Mrs. Officer by Lil Wayne. I mean... It's classic. That's one. Every time that song comes on, I just get so happy. And the fact that I was listening to that, listening to that in middle school, kind of inappropriate. Oh, and <laughs> I love Six Foot Seven Foot, another classic from Lil Wayne. His wordplay in that song is amazing. I mean, in any Lil Wayne song, it's amazing. Favorite perfume would definitely be Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift tea or coffee I hate coffee I hate it even though I will drink it if it's free and my friend Kayla hates when I do that cuz I mean I, I don't like it but I like free stuff so and then tea like if they're talking about hot tea I'm not a big hot tea drinker unless I'm sick but other than that no I'm, I wouldn't drink either what would you name your kids I would definitely go with a K name because on my mom's side all the girls are named with a K the name I think I would name my girl Kai after my godmother's child Kai Kai is so sweet and she smells like pancakes and for the boy since my dad's name was Daniel, I think I would try to do a D name. And I like the name Damon because I just finished Vampire Diaries and it was amazing. And Damon's my favorite character. So I think I would name him Damon or something. I don't know. Did I play any sports? I did ballet, jazz, tap, baton. Up into up until ninth grade. Well, baton that stopped in elementary school. Even though I loved it, but um, I did those, and then I did um, the praise dance team at church till I graduated from high school. And oh, I played soccer, kind of. There's kind of a story. Um, it was elementary school, and my school had just started their soccer program, so. Basically, everybody was doing it, so I was like, I'm going to do it too, but anyway, I told my parents, you know, I was interested. I ended up on the team. My parents had to pay as well, so first practice comes, you know, I'm, I'm ready, I'm ecstatic, until I'm not anymore, and I don't want to play, and my excuse was that it was too hot. I couldn't handle it, you know, such a drama queen. They shouldn't have, you know, given me the chance. But I did receive a trophy at the end of the season, even though I did not play a single game. So I guess their money went towards the trophy. Favorite books. I honestly don't have time to just enjoy a book anymore unless it's a textbook. So my favorite book will be a textbook. But I am reading this five minute devotional right now. So... I guess I could say that's my favorite book because I read that every day. Favorite YouTubers? Definitely Alyssa Forever, Tess Christine, I'm Janim, and Jackie Ina. I just subscribed to her. I think those would be my favorites for right now. Favorite movie? I love 22 Jump Street. This is the end. Parent Trap. Parent Trap, yes. Single or Taken? I'm Taken by Jesus. Ideal Date. Um, going to a museum would be fun. 
because you can look at art I love art and then you know we could talk as well like actually get to know each other and then maybe just even walking outside like unless it's too hot like if it's too hot mm -mm, we shouldn't do that but um you know it doesn't have to involve money at all just you know enjoy each other's company honestly that would be the ideal date favorite memory from childhood okay I love when I was little I loved going to my grandma Joan's house I mean I still do but um but anyway when we would be there I would wake up early just a little bit before everybody else because my grandma makes homemade biscuits not from the can homemade but anyway, while she would make them, she would have dough, obviously. But Grandma knew I liked the dough, which I don't know why. I'm such a weirdo. But anyway, she would save me just a little piece to the side for me to have. And I don't know, that was just so sweet and I loved that. And then before we left Grandma's house, um, my dad, if it was me, my brother, my cousin Jessica, my cousin Marky, if we would be there, he would give us a ride on the four-wheeler. He would kind of let us control it a little bit, so that was always fun. Oh, and I shouldn't reveal this right now, but <laughs> when me and my cousin Jessica, we would play outside. Um, my cousin Emily, she had, she lived next door to my grandma's house, but anyway, she had this, I believe, muscadam tree. And we would ride our bikes, even though we weren't supposed to, we would ride our bikes behind the house and like steal some of her muscadums. And we would ride the bikes across the street and go on the farm and steal the muscadums there. We were a bunch of little thieves. How would you describe your fashion sense? Um, if I had to pick a word, I guess I would choose mm, eclectic because my style is constantly changing my interest off. I guess that would be just the perfect word for my fashion sense. Favorite restaurant? Definitely Carabas. I love it, even though it's kind of expensive. And also, not technically a restaurant, but Waffle House. Because, I mean, I don't know. I just, I love it. And I can go eat Waffle House any day. And honestly, any breakfast food. In the comments below, tell me if you prefer Waffle House or IHOP. Just, just let me know. Favorite TV show? I watch a lot of TV. A lot. But I would definitely say Gossip Girl. I'm re-watching it right now on Netflix. Um, Project Runway, This Is Us. Stranger Things, I just finished that series too. Um, what phone do you have? I have the iPhone 7, even though everybody, my friends are annoying, but they say I have a 4 because my screen, I don't know how to focus this, but my screen is cracked. Not my actual screen, my screen protector. So I mean, like it's still good, so it's still a 7, you feel, but you know haters, they everywhere. Um, <laughs> I'm lame AF. Okay, any bad habits? Procrastination. Ugh, and I'm a I'm a crier. I cry over everything. Ugh, it makes me so upset because I hate crying. And then I cry at the weirdest moments. Like I know why I cry, but like, come on. But um, for example, we were at a football game at my school. And I think it was halftime and they brought this man out and I honestly don't know what he did or I can't remember. But anyway, at the end they were like, congratulations, we built you a house. And once they said that, I, I teared up because like I love to see people happy and, you know, receive things for, you know, what they deserve. But like, I don't. I don't know the man so chill out then I cry at church all the time and uh, I hate it like I cry if the kids do something like for Easter they did this Easter speech 
and I mean basically all they said was happy Easter <laughs> and I teared up because I just love little kids and then if our priest says something in the word or the choir is just singing I just I don't know I guess God gets into me or whatever but I just hate crying in public it's I don't know I, I try to stop myself so I never fully cry because I don't know it's embarrassing <laughs> and then oh I'm a bad texter shout out to all my friends who I haven't texted back yet hope y'all enjoyed the video uh hope y'all enjoyed getting to know me you didn't you made it this far so <laughs> But yes, I hope y'all have a beautiful day, a happy new year, and stay fresh.